Hey guys, this is Aaron from uh, my camper home, and I just want to touch, bring you guys up to speed of what I'm doing today. It's uh, Saturday, um, and I decided I want to go ahead and build my uh, platform bed in the bedroom here. Um, you guys know that I sleep, um, sleep right now. I'm sleeping right there on the floor uh, on an air mattress. I want to build a platform bed so I can have more storage underneath, and uh, so I can start uh, getting a little bit more room in here. Then. Uh, it's kind of a process. Uh, I can't put the new floor down until I put the platform bed in, which means so I can store stuff where I can get to the floor. So it's kind of a, this is the pivotal point of, of the, uh, the build out of the bedroom. So I went to the store, uh, the big box store, and got uh, 10 uh, 2x4s and 17 uh, dog ear picket fence pickets. Um, they're six foot long. Five eighths of an inch thick, so um, I think they'll work good for covering the top of the platform. They were only a dollar twenty-four a piece, which is pretty cost-effective for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this. I've got all my measurements figured out, and I'm gonna start building a platform, and then I'll come back and I'll show you guys. Uh, all right, hey guys, uh, wanted to give you a little uh, midterm of what I got going on. Here's uh, the bedroom now. I've um, I've got the platform bed base built. And you can see it, I built it large enough to fit a full size mattress on. So it's sticking out a little bit past the wall here. Uh, I got some ideas for that, nothing, nothing planned yet. But what I did is went through multiple iterations of the planning. I was going to do a knee wall here, or a small wall here, and a small wall there. Do three walls coming out to hold it up. Uh, but then I changed my mind and I just built one, one long knee wall against the back there. I don't trust that wall at all. Uh, I think part of it's rotten anyway. So supporting this this frame with that knee wall right there uh, seemed like the best idea to me. So I got that standing up against there and I, I did put a couple of, of nails into whatever kind of studs I could find uh, to hold it sort of stable. And then uh, what I did on the on the front side is it hangs out a little bit. I bought these these iron pipes they come in standard length this is 20 half inch by 24 inch fences you're in the picture uh, half inch by 24 inch uh, pipe here with a flange on there and a flange up underneath there and I did the, the same thing on this end I got one got one down there too um, so I've got the, the base built and it's up about what 24 inches plus three and a half so it's uh, about 24 five, six, five. 27 and a half inches up off the ground up to uh, up to here and then I'm gonna put another five another I think those are five eight inches on top of that so it's it's not super high but I probably could use a step uh, and then what I did to cover the top I, uh, like I said in the last video I bought these uh, dog-eared uh, pickets They're right here they've got the dog ear on one end and Put a cross beam, cross beam, and I made the last cross beam right at the six feet. So I can put that there now. I'm gonna have that little gap there. Uh, but I think I'm gonna build a, a little night shelf up a little bit higher and then just use that down there for storage uh, for like blankets and stuff. It's a nice little, nice little cubby hole. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I've got the nail gun out and the air compressor out. I'm gonna start nailing down these, these uh, pickets and uh, go from there but uh, it's looking good I got tons of storage underneath there I mean that's that's 50 uh, 57 inches deep from corner to back and then 72 inches wide all the way across here um, so that that'll fit a lot of stuff uh, it'd be nice to be up off the ground and be up where the normal people sleep so let me go ahead and get this done. I'll come and, back uh, and show you in on what I got done today. I've got the uh, the bed finished, uh, and I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I had to go back to Home Depot to get some uh, some, lo some longer nails. I'd gotten nails that were a bit too short to hold anything, so I went back and got some two and a half inch nails, um, and then came back and the platform bed went together really easy. It, uh, a couple minutes to cut all the wood and you know, I had a nice I had everything planned out had all the measurements and dimensions ready to cut so I just pretty much cut them out I got just enough two by fours to do the whole thing and uh, I ended up with like about four extra of the dog ear pickets um, so I might use them for something else like some shelves or something but let me show you what I got so 
Um, here's the front room that I've showed you before in the previous video where I have the curtain to uh, keep it closed in to, uh, with the air conditioner. So here's the bed. Here's the platform bed. You can see the two iron legs below. It's half inch uh, black pipe with uh, flange on either end holding up the, the bed on this side. Um, and, and like I said before, I wasn't too... Uh, I wasn't too sure of the walls in this trailer as far as holding up something like this, so I made sure I put that knee wall in the back and I put these two legs at the front to uh, basically hold it up. I've got some nails into the walls and that's just to keep it from moving laterally, but for the most part the uh, the weight of it is on um, on the floor on uh, new construction. So here we go, we got, uh, we got the front room. Here's the, uh, here's the platform bed. Dog ear, that's the dog ear pickets. Like I said, they were a dollar twenty something for, for them. I got 17 of them. I put a sheet down here because these uh, pickets are rough sawn, they're not uh, they're not uh, sanded down or soft or anything. So, um, I'm afraid they might poke a hole in the air mattress. So, I just went ahead and put this sheet down just to just to protect it. If I, once I get a regular mattress, um, then that shouldn't be a problem. I mean, I probably could put something down, but um, but. Here's, here's the bed. I've got the air mattress up, aired up, it's ready to go, and um, I guess uh, I guess this level is right around, you know, my mid-belly level, so it's it's up a bit, but, uh, you know, I can still see the TV, because it's mounted up high, and uh, I've got plenty of storage down below here, you can see that, it's, uh, you know, that's a lot, that's, uh, what, 50, 54 inches deep by... 70 72 inches wide and I've got all the storage down here to uh, to store all that junk out there there's a box of kitchen stuff there's a box of sheets and stuff um, and then there's two empty containers that I bought trying to organize so they'll fit underneath here uh, what I was also what I wanted to do is is on this wall here underneath this window I wanted to get a little six hole cubby from Ikea that holds these little milk crate shaped uh, things and um, and then put all my clothes in that but I think it's gonna make a little tight in here it's uh, it's pretty tight in in between here and I kinda like having a chair in here so I can sit in here and watch TV and play on the computer so what I might do is see that little white uh, three drawer plastic container there I know I've seen them with the wheels on them so if I can get a couple that'll fit underneath here, I can put all my, my storage behind it and then just put these rolly things at the front for my clothes. And that way I have easy access to my clothes, but if I need to get the junk behind, I just roll them out of the way. I think that might work pretty good. Um, and the other thing that I, I realized after I did this, I secured those flanges, that one, this one here. I secured these flanges to the ground uh, on top of this old floor. Um, this is the old manoleum that came with the original trailer, and I'm, I was, you know, you see a couple places where I cut it out. I cut it out where the vents were, um, and I cut it out in the back there where I was laying that peel and stick tile. Um, but it's all, it's all going to come out. You know, it's okay to leave it under here. That's probably a good thing, so we're not rubbing the subfloor every time I slide stuff in and out. But I thought, well, that was probably a bad idea because now I can't lay flooring around those flanges very easily. So I think what I might do is I'll. I'll lay the lay the flooring up to here and then angle it back to the there so that way it looked like it was planned and then just leave this this manoleum here and then just do the laminate flooring from here out and then from here all the way down the trailer so this is a big step uh, I'm, I'm happy it's done uh, this is kind of unfinished which is okay for a bachelor but uh, what I was thinking you know it's kind of out of the box is is to get some of that brown vinyl that they use like on couches and stuff and some batting and 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 wrap this whole thing put a couple of layers of batting on the end here and just wrap the whole thing and staple it underneath there just like you do with furniture um, and wrap the whole thing in that brown batting with a little bit of padding and then on the, the top part going all the way back just put a single single layer of batting and that, that brown vinyl all the way back and I think that looked pretty cool It'll take the edges off of this and make it a little softer and it'll make it look, look a little more finished. So, you know, I say a lot of things and when I get to them, I get to them. If I don't, it's fine too because uh, I now get to sleep up with the regular people and I'm not sleeping on the floor anymore. Um, 
it's, so it's 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 a good thing. Uh, it's, this is uh, my birthday weekend, so I thought I'd surprise myself with a uh, with a new bed, and I was surprised. So thanks for following me. Thanks for uh, thanks for sticking with me, and I uh, hope to get more and get a little regular. Uh, um, so uh, thanks for uh, watching uh, my cap room. Thanks. Bye.